We all know that the economy is in a rough spot right now. Jobs are becoming scarcer. Layoffs are becoming frequent. The prices of goods and services keep rising, and people are struggling to make ends meet. The housing market, in particular, is also struggling. Home sales have been dropping recently. In fact, if you look closely at existing data online, you will find that the median sale price of a house is slowly approaching the year-over-year -year price of 2021, which is lower than what we have now. Other than that, a recent article from Bloomberg released results about the responses of economists regarding the U.S. recession for the next 24 months. It must be known that 81% of them predicted a recession. This is heavy news since this pretty much impacts everyone's lives. In this video, you will know a more detailed analysis of the current situation in the market, so stay tuned. Please consider liking and subscribing, especially if you like this type of content. We always appreciate any kind of support. Note that the ideas and suggestions presented in the video are for informational purposes only. Please consult a certified expert first before making any financial decisions. Welcome to EM3 Financial Freedom Strategies, where you learn how to manage your time and money to achieve financial freedom. If you want to know all the juicy details, then make sure to watch until the very end. According to Nick Gurley, if you look at some American cities right now, the number of properties for sale has increased from 300 to 400 percent in just four to five months, signaling that the U.S. housing crisis has already begun and is becoming worse as time goes. This is already happening. And it will only become more severe in the coming months as the American recession deepens. Foreclosures are piling up in the back, and this will continue to increase as home builders report an increasing number of homes being built. In just a few months, several of those places have already experienced a decline of around 10%. It actually depends on the city in which you reside, because the American housing crash may be more severe in some regions. Other places may not be as badly affected, but looking at things more widely, it is anticipated that property values would decrease by 20% on average across the United States, up to 40% in certain areas, and perhaps just by 5% in others. A lot of individuals have bought homes in the previous two or three years, which means that if home values fall, a lot of people will find themselves swamped on their mortgages, which will result in foreclosures and finances being in the red. In addition, the number of foreclosures over the next couple of years will likely increase as a result of debtors today being equally limited in their capacity to repay their monthly mortgage. Due to this result, people are less likely to spend. Home values will decrease even more as a result of this wider decrease in consumer expenditure, which will just intensify the recession. Since the housing market is even larger than the stock market, its decline typically causes the entire economy to take a plunge. The leading real-time indicators are property home sales and mortgage purchase applications since they basically reveal home buyer demand. Currently, both indicators have fallen by 20% nationwide and by 40% to 50% in some locations. There is extremely minimal to no buyer demand in this property market right now. As a result, the market is currently experiencing an increase in active home sale listings. House sales keep on plummeting and more home buyers exit the market. The active listings will continue to crowd the market and accumulate. Of course, this won't just be detrimental to home buyers and home sellers. It will also negatively affect home builders due to constant delays. These factors will probably be the ones to break the camel's back. Seeing how demand is already low for homes and real estate in general, the builders face an immense challenge in trying to sell their properties now. 
lots of home buyers are canceling the construction, which is added on to by the delays due to the pandemic. Other than the drop in the housing market, it is possible to also experience a recession next year. Chair Jerome Powell has stated that in order to bring inflation down from near 40-year highs, some economic pain is necessary. Looking at the estimates for Fed funds rates, the peak will stay longer as opposed to estimates from October. The Fed rate peak is as high as 5%, which was forecasted to continue for seven months, making up the majority of 2023. The unemployment rate may rise as high as 4.6%, with the jobless rate landing at 3.7%. While Fed policymakers predict a soft landing within a tight road, a growing majority of economists, being 81%, believe that a U.S. recession is more likely. As for the remaining 16%, they expect a hard landing with no recession and 2% expect a soft landing. Amidst all of these, 76% of economists believe there will likely be a worldwide recession. This move by the Fed is seen as being risky, and there's a large possibility that it might backfire and make things worse. No one knows for sure what will happen next. With that in mind, you should start preparing your funds due to this incoming behemoth. Things like credit cards, house loans, car loans, and energy expenses will increase as consumer debt costs rise. Other than that, numerous businesses will experience difficulty, which will lead to job losses. It should be noted that the substantial inflation that has been seen over the past few years is significantly influenced by the housing market. Why wasn't this home inflation stopped sooner? It is probably because the Fed and many analysts when seeking to evaluate inflation are looking at distorted, outdated information. Since the unemployment rate may increase, you must ready your emergency funds. Three to six months worth of living expenses is the rule of thumb, but this factor also depends on your financial state and goals. When the Fed takes aggressive measures, investors frequently panic which increases market volatility. Therefore, it's very important that you stay vigilant and prepare for a potential pullback in the markets. Other than that, don't panic. This had happened before and people recovered from this. Don't quit, don't give up. Instead, plan ahead and do your plan. Keep going, jot down your budget, and cut some unnecessary expenditures. Hopefully, this video helped you understand why the market is in turmoil and why it may be riskier now than before. Stay focused and keep working hard. Even if rates peak, life still goes on, so you must stay positive. As always, we in EM3 wish you the best of luck. In the meantime, we hope you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to see more of our content. If you liked our content, then please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.